friends of Palestine, friends in humanity. It's been more than 280 days of genocide, of ethnocide, of eliticide, of femicide, of bedicide, of mass murder of innocent Palestinian civilians. Since October 7, Israel killed 48,794 Palestinians, including 16,172 children and 10,789 women. This is only the number we know of. Thousands more have been disposed and decomposed without ever being registered in hospitals or even being identified by their own families. This is not all. A study by the Lance Index Fixed Gaza's death toll to exceed 186,000, which means that 8% of the total population in Gaza will be obliterated and wiped out of the civil registry. It's been seven months since the ICJ called the Israel to stop its mass destruction, and five months since the UN Security Council called for an immediate ceasefire. But since then, Israel has occupied Rafah, despite the many warnings, and killed thousands more civilians in El Mawasi, in areas they designated as safe zones. They have deliberately starved hundreds of thousands to the north of Gaza, roughshodding over the international law. It was only yesterday that the International Court of Justice judged that Israel is a presence in occupied Palestine is unlawful and is the obligation of Israel to hold its new activities in the settlements and to, and to evacuate all settlers and make reparations for the damage they caused in occupied Palestine. Since October 7, Israel destroyed over 37,000 housing units, accounting for more than 70% of Gaza's total house stock. A UN Development Program Administrator said they haven't seen anything like this since the Second World War. Today, we are witnessing a live stream genocide and ethnically cleansing of Palestinians that has been ongoing for 75 years. We are witnessing government warmongers complicit in war crimes against Palestinians without facing any legal consequences. Today, we're witnessing policies and rules being imposed against the Palestinian content to censor our voices and our voices advocating for Palestinian rights. This is not just a demonstration. It's not only a call to stop this war in Palestine, but it's a gathering to show our rooted and unconditional support for Palestine and justice. Today, we are here to clearly state we stand for human rights, for Palestinian rights, for freedom and independence. Today, we are here to say no to the genocide, not under our names, not under our names. Today, we are gathering to say no to starvation, to clearly tell government we will not give, until, give up until Palestine is free, completely free. If no change is made now, none will happen in the future. It's time for action. This is the right time to free Palestine. Today, we are all together here to demand an immediate and permanent ceasefire in Gaza to stop arming Israel. We need more action in the Shannon. Today, we demand the Irish government, as well as the international community, to abide by the ICG judging yesterday and to push Israel to end its activities in the occupied Palestine. We ask the Irish government 
to avoid sanctions in Israel, the same as it did with Russia when it occupied Ukraine. We do not want double standards. We demand the international community, as, our, as well as our leaders in the government, to withdraw all investment from the Israeli apartheid state and to continue pushing for actions until Palestine is free. Please do not stop marching for Gaza. We need to make our voices louder, loud enough to make a serious action. Thank you.